Until 2005, the haunting call of the Kokako was missing from the forest of Omayo, east of Opotiki. Te Whanua Apa Nui saw the opportunity to reintroduce these beautiful birds and began to plan for their return. However, translocating something as threatened and vulnerable as a kōkāko is no mean feat. Let's find out how they got their melody back to the bush. So we're going to have a go at trying to call them in. Yes, we'll play some uh, playback to them and see if we can get them to come in this morning. These appear living here with the chick. Right next to the hut? Right next to the hut. So usually only the male will come in and fly away from us and start singing so we're not close to the chick. Oh, so he's going to try and lead us away? Yeah. There's one over there in the tree over there. Wicked! We released 18 birds in 2005. We caught them at Otamatuna, which is in the Waimana area, in the Tūruweras, and translocated them over here. Most of it was done by helicopter because it's all backcountry work and transporting them off the hill by vehicle is just not an option. It's too long and they get too stressed. They spread the first year we released them here, which was really amazing. They seemed to take to here like ducks on water, you know. It was just awesome. The first year I think we had four pairs. So we released 18 birds and we had four pairs straight away. Last year we had five pairs and this year we've got six pairs. So. These ones that live at the hut, are they a new pair? Yes, they are both unbanded, so they're um, chicks from the two previous breeding seasons. So, and they've had a chick this year, so it's our first great green kōkako <laughs> of Mount Pukuriki. <laughs> <laughs> is the Māori arm of the Department of Conservation. And um, I guess for Māori people, knowing that, it's easier for them to align with the organisation to, to talk about um, um, how we might best protect our tonga. Uh, Ngā Whenua Rāhui provides the funding for um, the pest control, um, and that, that's quite important. It's scary, actually, to, to, to think that our forests where there aren't any comprehensive trapping programs like this, what pests are doing to our forests? They're destroying it. Every time I come up here, I get this warm feeling being up here. It's like our ancestors are sort of giving us a, a rub on the back for doing what we did. It takes you back to that time when our ancestors roam, roam these hills and listen to those sounds. It's a special feeling. This song, it's haunting, but it's something that just captures your heart. It's a song that's been lost from the, the, the ngahere here, the bush. So to have it back again is like, yeah, really neat, eh? This is a really special place, and with around 30 kōkāko now thriving in this area, the long-cherished dream of the Mangaroa Ohutu Trust to return kōkāko to the bush has finally come true. Ngā Pukeriki was chosen for their release for its natural values as well as its spiritual and cultural significance. And it's looking like this is a winning combination for the Kokako's survival. <laughs>